An overwhelming police response and an active crime scene Tuesday night in the parking lot outside a Dollar Tree store in Canarsie, Brooklyn. I'm gonna get out. I want to go home. I can't. The suspect seen in this surveillance photo, a 45-year-old male who was wearing a shoulder-length wig and armed with a 380 caliber pistol when he walked into the store shortly before 5 p.m. The male approached the store clerk and attempted to purchase an item. When the store clerk opened the cash register, the suspect pulled out a gun, pointed it at the store clerk, and removed an undetermined amount of money. NYPD Chief of Department Kenneth Corey says the store clerk discreetly called police after realizing the suspect was the same man who walked into the store Sunday morning, unarmed, and grabbed money out of the cash register. So by the time he made his way to the cash register Tuesday evening, this time waving a gun, the cops were already on their way. Upon arrival, the officers encountered a male in the vestibule of the store where he began to fight with the officers. During the struggle, the male pulled out a firearm and fired at the officers. The officers returned fire and struck the male in the neck. Investigators say the suspect fired his gun at least twice at the two officers, a 16-year veteran and a 6-year veteran, and missed both times. It was the 16-year vet who fired for the first time as an NYPD officer. The suspect survived his gunshot wound and is now listed in critical but stable condition at an area hospital. The officer's body cams were activated and rolling part of this ongoing investigation. Again, the officers were not hurt. Luckily, no one inside or outside the store was hurt either.